It's the end of the first full week of the month, and that means we have a new Google Play system update to install. For those who are not aware, Google is in charge of pushing out a trio of new updates to Android smartphones, tablets, smartwatches, TVs, and set-top boxes. Updates for the Google Play Store and Google Play Services are usually done in the background without the user needing to trigger them. However, letting the system handle these on their own could mean that it takes much longer for them to be installed on your device. Google Play system updates need to be installed manually, and I'll show you how all of these can be done today. There aren't that many new things being released as we're used to seeing this month, which may be due to the fact that Google's developers have been spending more time on the features announced at Google I.O. last month. Changes for this month include new alerts and recommendations that can help to secure your Google account. The Find My Device application now supports more devices, including some accessories for your smartphone or tablet. It's also been updated to use a new privacy-focused framework as well. The GPay application has been updated to add support for foldable devices, and you can now opt out of the animations that you're used to seeing when you complete a payment or use a pass within the application. Android TV devices are now set up to see a reminder prompt for any pending system updates that are waiting to be installed. And these are changes and new features that are coming to all Android devices, even if it no longer receives over-the-air updates. Now I mentioned that a couple of these updates are installed automatically in the background, but we can check to see if they are available for us to install right now. The first can be done by opening up the Google Play Store application and then going into the settings area. We do that by tapping on the profile icon at the top right and selecting the settings option. From here, we're going to tap on the about section at the bottom and then select the update Play Store option that is displayed within the Play Store version section. If you have an update waiting for you, then it will be installed right now, but you could simply be told that the Google Play Store is already up to date. Next, we're going to check and see if there is an update for the Google Play Services application. This is done by visiting the Play Store page for that specific app, which I'll be linking to in the video description below, and then tapping the Update button if you see it here. However, again, if your device is not ready to be updated with this update, then you will not see the Update button just as I am not seeing it right here. Now the last of these updates is labeled the Google Play System Update, and that actually needs to be installed manually. We can find this by tapping on the Settings application, and then diving into the About Phone section. From here, we're going to select the Android version menu. And finally, we're going to tap on the Google Play system update that you see right here. Tapping on that is going to check to see if you have an update waiting for you. If you do, then it will quickly install that update and then prompt you to restart the device so that it can complete that installation. 
if you are not in the habit of installing these updates every month, you may be backlogged on them. And if that's the case, I recommend going back into that about phone section and again, tapping on the Android version and then selecting the Google Play system update again to manually check to see if your device has an update waiting for you. You can even double check by tapping on that check update button just to see if you have an update waiting. If there isn't an update available to us, then we will be advised to check back later. Google has a history of slowly rolling out these updates to the community so they can monitor the status and make sure there are not any device breaking bugs being sent out. There have been many times when these updates end up causing force crashes, ruining the battery life, or slowing down phones and tablets to a crawl. In those instances, Google will pause the rollout and work on those bugs before sending it out to more people. This is why you may end up getting an update on one device, but notice that another device telling you that you, there aren't any updates waiting. Google likes to send these out to a small percentage of the user base each day and then slowly increasing that percentage if there aren't any critical bugs reported. These are all of the changes including in the June 2023 Google Play system update and you'll want to get them installed as soon as they are made available to you. Hopefully this video helps you to get your device updated today, but if you end up having to wait for the update to be sent to your device, then it is recommended that you check back daily to see if it has been made ready for you.